A new dawn is emerging in the world of computers as machines transform from being placid conductors of information to becoming active participants in learning and development of solutions to aid mankind. The age of supercomputers is finally here, as Adel Tiangole reports. Computers that had stored programs and those stored programs were able to transform the world of information. They were able to process in a very defined and a very flexible way information. Um, and yet at the same time, those systems were limited. They had all the problems that we've become aware of, of aging and legacy software. They had a brittleness and they didn't have an adaptivity to deal with the changes that are going on in the world and problems as they emerged. This could be the biggest innovation yet in the evolution of the modern day computer. From fast performing basic processes to becoming programmed to run advanced application and now to enable them to be taught and analyze data. Dubbed cognitive computing, the IBM run system not only understands the complexity of normal human lingo, it can also learn, adapt and change depending on the data presented. It's going to make it, make it simpler for people to use computers and solve some of the problems they have. The system which the farm is calling Project Lucy seeks to fuel development and spur business opportunities in Africa. IBM will invest 8.7 billion shillings over the next 10 years in the initiative to unlock Africa's potential. We should even at this moment measure the inflation in Kenya today because people have cell phones, people buy stuff, we should be able to measure it. We haven't done it yet, we're not yet there to do it. Even GDP, amazing discrepancies um, teachers in school, we don't know. We don't know. Is the teacher in school now? Discover the relationship between water and disease, or the relationship between water and agriculture. Perhaps we'll better understand the relationships between energy and traffic and congestion and loss of efficiency because of the congestion that we have on our roads. Or we'll understand the relationship between financial inclusion and does it actually create jobs? We'll begin to understand these things. IBM will host the system in Kenya, making the country Africa's cognitive hub. Which is ironic given that just last week, a state department was in the market seeking typewriters. If you saw in social media, it embarrassed Kenya, which is known as the hub of ICT. It embarrassed us, the whole world. I hope they drop the tender. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.